can think of a lot of times when, um, you know, I have had a person who I've gone to and like, I don't know if I can do this. And, you know, it, it hasn't always been the same person. And, you know, when I talk about community believing in you and uplifting you, sometimes it's, you know, a singular person, right? Who's part of that larger community. But I can think of lots of times in my career where I have been, you know, can, doubtful. You know, can I really do this? You know, people talk about imposter syndrome and boy, I have a case of it for sure. And so those people in my community have been really helpful in, in helping me believe that I can do something, whatever that next thing is. And so, yeah, at every stage I've had someone at every new set of responsibilities I've had someone say, yes, you can do that. Believe in you. When I was, um, before my first internship actually in the industry, um, I was a wreck and I was just, I think if I remember correctly, I was sobbing. I was just, I can't do this. I don't know anything about the product or the what I'm doing, I'm a, I'm gonna fail, and and the person I was with at the time said, "You're gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. They're gonna teach you a lot. You're gonna learn a lot, but you can learn, and you will be okay, and you will do a great job." And it was exactly what I needed to hear. You'll learn. And if you go into a, if you go into a role already knowing, thinking, you know, everything that you need to know to be successful, you're either going to fail <laughs> or you haven't picked a role that is a stretch for you. Um, you know, and that, and you're not growing your own potential in that way. So going into a role where, or a, next phase or whatever it is, knowing that you don't know everything, but being committed to learn the things you need to know and try some new and different things, you know, being out of your comfort zone a little bit, you know, that that's how I work on myself.